Guys, Halo 3 is going to be on the PC before you know it. It really is. It's going to be here pretty soon. This isn't a lie. This isn't, you know, I'm not making this up. This is this is real. This is true. Um, basically, there's a couple things we're going to talk about in this video, okay? The first one is MCC. Halo 3 is in that, okay? There's a huge possibility we're going to see Master Chief Collection come into the PC in the very, very future. Once this game gets all the updates that it needs to become good again, all fixed, and um, stuff like that, they're going to they're gonna most likely add Master Chief Collection to the PC and then the Windows Store. I doubt it will be on Steam. I think it will be definitely in the Windows Store, not Steam. But, um, yeah, we're going to be seeing Master Chief Collection. There's a big possibility we'll see it. You know, years ago they did say that they they, they they wanted seeing it on the PC, right? But their console was the main focus at that moment. And, you know, once they get this game fixed, I mean, they, they have the ability to put it on PC. So, why wouldn't they? And, I mean, I'm pretty sure they even said that that's in consideration or that is a possibility. So, we will see, uh, there's a big possibility, we will see Master Chief Collection come to the PC. And that means we will see Halo 1, 2, which is already on the PC, but Halo 3... Possibly Halo Reach if they do end up adding it to the game. I know that was also a possibility. And Halo 4 along with Halo 3 ODST. We'll be seeing all those games on PC. That is big. That is big, guys. That is big news. But we already technically have a little bit of Halo 3 right now. Now, obviously, you probably already got the memo here. In the, the gameplay-wise, yeah, El Dorito Client. Halo Online. Um... Basically, there's this big update coming out, the .6 update. It's been hugely over, uh, not overly hyped, but it's been hyped, and it's it's you know it's been long awaited. It's been several months. I mean, I'm pretty sure they started like giving out gameplays and stuff back in August. I remember I was streaming uh, me making uh, Escape from Vietnam, that Forge map. Yeah, I streamed that back in August, and um, one of the uh, one other YouTuber, Sure Productions. He was talking about how they were adding this cool update, and it's going to be coming any time now. And, um, and I was excited. I come to find out the update hasn't even come out yet. Well, it, back in August, Sure Production says it was coming out like any time now, like in a couple weeks or whatever. And it was. It was supposed to come out. And then it didn't even come out. And uh, it's it's already March. It's already it's literally about to be April. It's already almost April. And literally they were talking about how they were going to upload or update the game to point six. Um, El Dorito in in back in August, you know, that was ages ago But uh, anyway, th not, let's not start ranting about how many months it's taken for them to update El Dorito The thing is is this point six update is so big. It is so awesome I haven't been hyped for Halo in a fat minute and I'm actually excited for this I have Halo online. I don't personally play it because the game can irritate me sometimes but they are adding the hugest, coolest update so far in this game. They're adding so many cool features, and there's so much to talk about that you literally just need to go check out the blog post, because I'll be sitting here for like 10 minutes explaining literally just a portion of what they're adding. They are changing everything, too. They're, they're adding a whole new main menu, and it's literally Halo 3's main menu just um, changed just a little bit. Um, but what's cool is that they have like the same exact armor customization from Halo 3 So that's awesome, and I'm pretty sure They are updating the game to where it will probably be running Halo 3 uh, Armor instead of the, the crappy Halo 4 armor that they have in the game right now And if that's the case if they're gonna naturally have the Halo 3 armor without having to mod the game That's big news. That means we're just closer to Halo 3 Obviously, I don't know much yet I don't know if they're actually going to be updating the game and changing it completely where everything's going to look like Halo 3 or if they're going to keep a little bit of this Halo 4 stuff. But either way, this game is slowly getting closer to Halo 3. The main menu is looking like Halo 3. The game itself is looking like Halo 3. The features are going to be even better than Halo 3. If you guys seen the Forge, it's literally like Halo 5 Forge because they have the ability now you can add textured blocks to maps just like Halo 5. That is awesome. That is very cool. I'll be definitely wanting to make some Forge maps on uh, El Dorito for sure. So, uh, you know, look out for that. But that is good. That is big news. Um, so, yeah, this game is slowly becoming Halo 3. Um, now, of course, I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, it's going to be multiplayer-wise. It's going to be very close to Halo 3. Maybe not exactly the same, but extremely close to the point where it's almost weird. But there's running in it. So that's kind of a downside on it. 
but you could get rid of that. You could literally get rid of uh, running. That's an option. But, and assassinations too. I'm pretty sure you can get rid of that too. Um, but, okay, might play a lot like it in multiplayer. What about campaign? Guys, campaign? I've heard this a lot in discussions. And campaign, I'm pretty sure it is. there's a possibility that you could port over this campaign. Since Halo Online is running on the same engine as Halo 3. Because it's, it's literally the same engine. That's why this game is so much like Halo 3. So... There is a possibility that there somebody could, you know, try and port over this campaign into El Dorito. Is that going to happen anytime soon? Probably not. I think that's going to take ages if that is a possibility. So, but the, the thing is, is that we already have the multiplayer aspect of Halo 3 on PC. So this is big news. And um, basically, yeah, that's that's all I have to explain to you guys is, you know, MCC. It's going to hopefully be coming here to PC and that will bring us the Halo 3 game. Um, not the original, but it'll still bring us Halo 3. And then El Dorito, it's getting a huge .6 update. And it's going to be so much closer to Halo 3 than it already is. It's going to be super close to how Halo 3 is. And it's just going to have more features, and it's going to be so good. And it's it's exciting. So, yeah. Um, you know, Halo 3, it's getting closer and closer all the time. With each El Dorito update, we're, close, we're getting closer and closer to a true Halo 3 on PC. And MCC, you know, it could happen. It could come. So, I want to hear you guys' thoughts on this and, um, you know, everything. I recommend downloading El Dorito right now, trying it out at least before the update comes. The update should be coming anytime soon. I'd give it maybe a month or less before this huge .6 update. But check out their blog posts. Please check it out. See what they're adding to the game. You'll definitely get hyped for it. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's it guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and uh, I'll hopefully see you guys in the comment section. We'll have some cool talks and discussions about these uh, these two these two things going on here, MCC and uh, El Dorito. Anyway, that's it guys and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.